know you can see me under here, but hi everybody. Um, and there's a new leaf just about to appear here. Hello everybody, how are you? Welcome to One Room Plant Guy. My name is Russell and it's so good for you to be joining me here today. So today we are going to be talking about nine philodendrons. Philodendron Florida Beauty, Philodendron Sidori, Philodendron Gloriosum, Philodendron Vericosum, Philodendron Bell Marks, Philodendron White Princess, Philodendron Pink Princess, Philodendron El Choco, and Philodendron Florida Ghost. Now, some of these are propagations, some of these are repottings, and some of these are from unboxings that I had um, maybe about six months ago that you haven't seen since I had them and unwrapped them. So that's what we'll be bringing you here today. So I hope you enjoy and let's get to it. So this is the Philodendron Florida Beauty. Now I got this in March. This was a unboxing that I did and as you can see they're doing really well. Um, so this is the smaller one. This was the one that had the variegation in. This was the original leaf here. Um, it's still in moss. Um, and as you can see, this one, this leaf is just starting to come out. Now I don't know if this one's got variegation yet. And they are quite shaded where I am at the moment. This is a new leaf. And this one's a new leaf, okay? I mean, look at those lovely petioles that are really dark. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Um, so this definitely needs repotting. And the other one I had, this was the bigger version. Not version, but the bigger plant. Um, this is the original plant. The original leaf, sorry. And as you can see, it's going to start going soon. It's just starting to, to die back because it's an old leaf. It's been there. It's really done. It's done its job. It's kept the plant alive. Um, and it's produced these lovely leaves. There's a slight variegation just on this leaf here. And this one's a fairly new leaf. It's missing its little corner. I don't know where that went. I, I didn't pick it off, so it must have just been um, deformed. But there's some variegation in the ends. But you can't see it because it's still quite lime and there's an obviously a new leaf just appearing just about to appear in here so we will need to repot these and i will probably repot them in the same pot it might stifle the growth a little but i've got so little room and i'm probably going to have to get rid of some plants that i'm just going to have to do that so i think in the next couple of weeks i'll be bringing you that to repot these. Now another update is the Philodendron sidori. This one I love but I, I should have done something about it about six to eight weeks ago. It needs a moss pole and it probably needs already repotting. I mean I only repotted it a couple of months ago, maybe four or five months ago. So the root system is really good, it needs watering. It's really good. The plant is done very very well. It's actually just lost last week the original leaf, so the mother leaf. Um, I think I'm going to be cutting this back, not because it's too big, but because it's starting to go, as you can see, the leaves are starting to go really small. And I've just put this little stick in here just for now, just to just to keep it from falling over, because that's what was happening. So what I'll probably do and bring you to is we'll cut it to there, just so we've got a straight plant. It will shoot out from the side. I might put this in water and then have two in the same pot. And we'll see, but we'll bring that to you as well, okay? This is a Philodendron Sidori. So let's talk about the Philodendron Gloriosa. Now, I did a repotting of this from a lasagna dish into a bigger pot, and people have been asking me how that plant's done. Well, the plant is here. She's lost a few big leaves, but she's gained quite a lot. And I don't know if you can see that, but she's pretty big. I'm really loving her. She is a bit twisted. She lives in the window, which she's going to have to be moved soon because it's winter coming up and that window's going to be cold. She's going this direction. There's three plants in there. So there's this new leaf here, which you can see. This new leaf, which you can see has been sucked by the window, so I need to take that away. There's another leaf here. And I don't know if you can see me under here, but hi, everybody. Um, and there's a new leaf just about to appear here. Now, they are going in one direction. So what I'm going to have to do soon because it's starting to get to the end of the pot, we'll cut this part of the plant away, okay, which won't matter, and then move the whole plant, shift it all to the, to the left, to my left, your right, and then backfill this end with soil. And then that means the plant's still travelling, you've still got four inches to go, and we'll just keep doing that, because I don't want a bigger pot, because I already have way too much space being taken up by plants in one room. 
Okay, so this is a philodendron gloriosa. I'll put all the stats there for you, the heating and what sort of lighting they like for all the plants, okay? It's just easier that way because then you can type, you can pause the screen and then you can write that down, okay? So let's move this to the side. Now I did actually have, stopping, I did actually have spider mites on this plant. Managed to get rid of them, touch wood, um, but it did, I did have a casualty from that and that was my philodendron varicosum perished. It just couldn't keep it alive, it just wasn't doing anything. I cut it back, and which you saw in some of the videos, and the mother plant just never survived. It was just very limp, very limp and just didn't do anything. So I've got rid of that plant. But today I remembered that I've actually got some of the cuttings and I haven't looked at the cuttings for six months. So maybe five months? It's been a long time. So I actually need to have a look at them. I'm, I'm, they'll be fine because they're in a skilled unit. So let's have a look. Let's move this over to the window again. I'm going to turn this around. So where are we? Here we are. This is a philodendron day today, isn't it, hey? So here we are, in here is the new babies and they're doing amazingly well, but they really need to be, oh, a bit must in here, they really need to be put in soil. Now, I did an experiment with one of these six months ago where I did put it in soil, but it died. And the reason for that is because it's been sealed in this unit with the lid on, it's so used to really high humidity and as soon as you take this plant from the moss into the soil and you have it open, it just can't cope because it's like a completely, it's a it's complete shock to the system. So when I do, I'm gonna do one of these first and I'll have three attempts and hopefully one of them will take, but I'll take one out, we'll put it in soil, we'll put a plastic bag over and that will help keep the moisture in and let's see how that, that goes. And that will help the roots get used to the new environment because obviously the roots will be a new, new environment because they'll be in soil, not moss. Um, and we'll go from there. And if that works, we'll do two more. If it doesn't, then I will start adding a little bit of soil to the moss mix in here first to, to get the roots going, and then we'll go on from there. But that's the philodendron varicosum, and these are three of them. I was going to give this to family members when I had the mother plant, but I'm not now because I don't have a mother plant anymore. These are the new uh, generation, and we shall see what happens. I don't know if I did this one. This is the bell marks. I have to be honest, I'm not really very enthusiastic about this one. I need a bit of water. Um, it did really well. It's got loads of roots. And as you can see, it's got some lovely variegation. But I never realised it grew like this. So it will have a jut come out, a leaf, then another jut. And I thought it came out more from the bottom, so it became quite a bushy plant. But this looks like it's going gonna, it's gonna to obviously climb. Now I have taken the top off because the leaves start to go very, very green, just pure green. And they're actually in water in the other room. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I am not going to get rid of it yet. I'm going to put it in, put it in a uh, bigger pot um, and maybe we'll do that together and see what happens. But yeah, it's not my, I mean, I love it, to, I love it when it's this. But I just don't like the way it grows. It's, 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 it seems messy. I think that's the word I don't, I think that's the word of it. It's messy. Maybe if you have quite a few in one pot, it can look really great. Um, but yeah, tell me what you think. As I said, I love the variegation. I love the shape of the leaves. I just don't like this sort of messy, the wet, messy way it grows. I could be wrong, maybe you do, um, but that's just me. And so I'm gonna put that there. Now this is the philodendron white princess. So this one's a bit of a favour of mine. She is going to need a bigger pot and she is going to need to be staked soon. Um, she's not as big as I've seen them on other people's um, platforms. Now she's had a half moon and that she's had a full moon here. She's got some some just damage from the sun. I think that is. And when she was opening up, she got caught, which these do tend to get caught all the time. It's stuck halfway through, I'm afraid you can see just here, this one's just starting to, um, to come out, but it gets stuck like this, it's like a loop, and the ends are stuck in here, where it's sealed in. And if you try to unpick this, sometimes you tear a leaf, which I've done many times. 
Down here, we've got a full moon as well, and she's got a light of side shoe, and this is gonna be a pure white leaf, I think, as well. Now, if that happens too many times, then the plant is exhausting its energy and not gaining any energy from these leaves, so I'll probably cut that back. But let's see what leaf we have coming out of here. If it has any green in it, then I'll be happy. If it doesn't, we'll cut that away. So this is another plant I will probably repot soon and actually put it a little bit deeper in the pot because as you see, it's quite wobbly and we'll give that a stake as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I love the variegation on this. This is the, on this one. This is the, called the Philodendron White Princess. You can get pink splashes and there's a little bit of pink on this leaf here, just very subtly, not a lot, but this is one of my favorite leaves. Um, just got the pink veining on this, the stem of the leaf all the way down the middle. So let's see if we can get a little bit more of that. And that's the Philodendron White Princess, okay? So my Philodendron Pink Princess is here as well. I don't know what's wrong with my ears today. I feel like I'm on an aeroplane and I need to keep popping. So excuse me, I can hear double in my head. So it's not very, very pleasant today. So as I say, this is my Philodendron Pink Princess. And as I said with the White Princess, sometimes you need to be very careful when the leaves pop out. And this is what happened to the pink princess, which I, is just, it always happens to the pink princess. And I've got humidity above 60, so I, I don't understand why they keep doing it. But what I was doing is I was trying to take out a leaf and I snapped the plant in half by accident. So subsequently, I had, this was the top. And this is in water. Now, this is the original plant and this is the top of the plant. This is in water. In the shade in the other room which is in the kitchen I've neglected it and look how big these leaves are and this one I've been looking after um, now the leaves are starting to get a little bit small obviously but I mean these this leaf is just so much bigger than this um, now people keep saying I'll put it in pom so actually I actually might look into that I've never done that before um, but I'm seriously seriously considering because it definitely likes it it's just that too much humidity in my flat it makes it damp and I don't want a damp flat. So this one I might put in POM, but I need to do a bit of research because I've never used it. Um, but this, as I say, the original, and it's just got a little bit of variegation on that leaf there. I don't know if you can see that, that pink, and that will come out more, I think, when it darkens because that's quite a new leaf. This one will be repotted and make sure keeping it slightly moist because it's too dry in this, in this medium. It's been too hot, that's why. So I've not, I've underwatered because I'm really good at overwatering um, and I shouldn't have stepped it up, but I didn't. So I need to water this. And it's probably why this one's doing so well because it's just in water. And um, you can see I need to fill that up with water. We need to decide what we're going to do, either palm or soil. Um, but that's doing really well as well. So this is the Philodendron El Choco. Now we've had this plant for quite a while. It was a big leaf in the beginning. That leaf died off, the roots died off. It was in pot. I had no idea. And all I was left with was a little stump. And I didn't think it was gonna grow, but it's grown into this beautiful plant. Two, two plants there. So it, it, it shot from two areas on the, the little uh, the stump. This really needs to be put in soil now. Um, I've let it grow to this size because I just had to make sure that the plant was going to survive. And if the plant starts to go back, I can now cut it, you know, and have a new plant from here. Whereas it was so small that if I'd lost the piece of wood, if that had rotted, I wouldn't have enough for the actual new shoot to, to put that in, uh, in moss. But I've got enough now, so we can definitely upgrade it from moss to soil. And finally, my philodendron florida ghost now this one i just i used to have two one died a long time ago this just scares me this plant now i've got the philodendron florida beauty which you saw at the beginning but this really hasn't done a lot it's in moss same as before as the others but it's really immature um so and it doesn't have a lid on anymore. I've got no covering anymore. So it is just in the elements now. I do water it, but I'm going to have to keep it in here. Maybe what I'll do is take it out, change the soil, change the moss slightly, um, and maybe just put uh, 
some plastic over to keep some moisture in and see what that does. Because we need it a little bit more robust. The plant is just not robust enough yet to even consider putting the floor on. This, this one I really want. So I'd have the Florida Beauty and the Florida Ghost. Um, they would, it wasn't cheap. And I say there was two, I bought two to be on the safe side. One of them died, so I've still got this one. I'm still happy that I've got this one. Um, one of the leaves is definitely rotted at the bottom here. So put that to the side. The soil is damp, so I'm very happy with that. But it just not seems to be doing anything. So yeah, this one is on the sort of help. I don't know what's going to happen. But you know, these things sometimes they can take a long, long time to, for, to, to come from juniors to adults. And it's still so junior that I do not want to transfer it to soil yet. So that's the Philodendron Florida Ghost. And thank you for joining me here today. That's just a small video of the updates that we need to do, or I need to do in the next couple of months. There's a plant behind me that I will do for you soon. And it's my Philodendron Fuzzy Petiol. It's not done, done very well. It was, it's huge still, but it needs a stake, which I haven't given it. So it needs cutting back by about maybe two thirds of the plant to start again. So I have a better plant, but that's for another video. Please like and subscribe, please comment down below. And I hope to see you soon with some of the plants that I have to repot. See you later, bye bye.